free Shit, that's what I love, can't see What I can't control Did it once, yeah, I do it once again Watch my father, yeah, he taught me how to win Cop new product, money taught me how to spin Waves like water, music taught me how to swim I'ma fill my bottle way up to the brim Back then, yeah, I never talked at all What's up guys, I'm Landon from Shoe Wear and today we're checking out the newest addition to Kyrie Irving's shoe line, the Nike Kyrie 8 or Kyrie Infinity in this aluminum colorway. So I'm still trying to figure out exactly what they're gonna call it, but first, thank you guys for stopping by to check us out. Feel free to drop a follow or subscribe wherever you're watching and give this video a like. We would greatly appreciate that. But just to start off with the box and the price, this is, you know, the first colorway, so I'm not really sure if they're all gonna follow this, you know, same box design. I imagine it probably won't, but for for these you do have some Kyrie text inside of that oval pattern and then you know this is kind of where it gets tricky because you either have a sideways eight or an infinity sign so I guess Nike has like the grade school sizes that already came out as the uh, Kyrie infinity but you know look it up on goat or just most other places and it's going to say Kyrie eight so I'm assuming that this is adding to his line like Kyrie five six seven I think this is number eight but you know, I just think it's kind of a tribute to the late great Kobe Bryant who did wear number eight. So he did, of course, wear number eight before changing to 24. But Kyrie Irving, he trained a lot with Kobe. They were very close friends. But, you know, I'm going to get into the shoe a little bit more in just a second. But as for pricing, this is actually the first time I paid resell, if you want to call it that, just to kind of check out a shoe early. So, of course, these haven't officially released yet. So at least not in men's sizing anyway. So I'm not totally sure what these are going to be for retail. I just paid more than what they're going to be for retail. I'll just leave it at that because I did want to get these in and check them out in hand. I think Nike has the grade school sizes going for 110 right now, but StockX has the retail price for like the new Kyrie 8 or Infinity, whatever you want to call it, at 120. And, you know, that has to be wrong because last year's Kyrie 7s were going for 130 and the grade school sizes are 110 on Nike. So there's just no way. I'd say, I mean, it'd be 140 at the most, but I'm pretty sure Champs has them like labeled at 130 even though there's like not even a picture to match that but i mean we'll cross the, we'll figure out the pricing later all right so checking out the appearance and like the overall design for this shoe like i said we're checking out the aluminum colorway for this Kyrie 8 or Kyrie infinity whichever you prefer but i i just can't keep bouncing it back and forth like this so i'm going to commit to calling these the Kyrie infinity for the rest of this review since you know that is what nike has them listed as for now but you know, I am just like certain that these are going to be like the Kyrie 8s or at least just within that line. They may even kind of like bounce it off each other, go like Kyrie 8 Infinity, Kyrie Infinity 8. Uh, it's really not that important. But before getting into the actual shoe, I do just want to touch on if you guys remember, like Kyrie came out and said like months back that he just hated the look for his upcoming shoe, just hated everything about it and that he wasn't going to wear it. And, you know, that was kind of during like all the crazy controversy, like vaccine stuff that was surrounding him. And. You know, I guess that is kind of still out there a little bit, but I don't know. They must have like either changed the model from then or just like gotten him on board with it because, you know, here we are reviewing the Kyrie 8 or the Kyrie Infinity, gosh, the Kyrie Infinity. And, you know, I actually do like the design for these a lot. So this is one of like three or so colorways on the market right now. And just, you know, as far as the structure goes, all of his lines have kind of kept that same look as far as like the height of the shoe is concerned, even dating it all the way back to the Kyrie one. So some different shoe lines like to play around with height a little bit more like within LeBron's line, you'll see some lower shoes like the LeBron 18, but then you'll see some higher shoes too, like the LeBron 19, they built that one up a little bit more. Same thing for like the KDs, like you have a bunch of shoe lines or a bunch of shoes within his line that are low, but you look at the 13s, the 14s, the 12s even too, they get a little bit more of a higher build. So I just thought that was interesting. But, you know, in general, I do think that this Kyrie uh, 8, Kyrie Infinity, what am I calling it? The Kyrie Infinity does look closer to the Kyrie 6, just, you know, with that curved midsole instead of the shark tooth design. Like, you know, you're going to see right back here behind me. But the heel design does remind me of a few other shoes that are out there. Like the Dame 7 or like the Don Issue 2 kind of gets that wavy pattern around the heel. That's kind of what this Kyrie Infinity reminded me of. And, you know, I do like it. I think that does look cool. 
This specific colorway gets an hourglass design. This shows up on the right uh, part of the tongue for the shoe. And then on these shoes, for both shoes, you're gonna get like an X or like a crossing pattern that kind of runs under the laces and a little bit on top. And I think it looks cool, but it does have a functional purpose that I'm about to hit on. And then different parts of this upper are also going to be see-through. You can't quite see it as well on this colorways, but there's some other colorways out there that'll come out and you'll be able to see through that shoe a little bit better. I think there's a jade one that's coming out soon, but you know, part of that is it's gonna, you're gonna know that your foot is gonna be able to breathe within this design whenever you can just straight up see through it. But I mean, yeah, this is a really clean look to this year's model. You know, after all, Kyrie is back on the court now part-time so i mean at least we should see the official release coming soon with more colorways to follow all right so now checking out more of like the tech specs so like you know the materials and the performance aspect i'll hit on the cushioning first so these are packed with a lot more cushioning features than we've seen in a minute for Kyrie's line or you know at least more so than the Kyrie 7 so these are going to have a file on midsole that's built to be you know lightweight and responsive and the midsole is going to be you know what handles your impact protection and that does a really good job on this shoe whenever you're landing from a shot i guess just you know any type of jump but lately Kyrie's lines you know they've kind of been positioning cushion units like in the front or in the back but you know not typically in both you know Kyrie had it in the front of last year's Kyrie sevens but this Kyrie infinity just it has it in both spots and it feels really good so you do only get a generic zoom unit in the heel but of course that's going to be better than nothing but you can actually see it if you look through that infinity logo on the outsole you can see it through that pattern or you know you could just take out the insole that'd be another way for you to be able to check that out but in the forefoot you're going to have a zoom strobel unit and you can see it labeled on the outsole as well in that uh, little traction pattern there but i think the carry infinity is like bouncy bouncy like i was running and just like kind of jumping around in these because you can literally just feel that unit compress whenever you put the pressure on this shoe so you know, I haven't actually played in every single shoe from Kyrie's line. You know, I missed out on the fours and the fives, I think. But I mean, in my opinion, this might be the comfiest shoe that I've played in for Kyrie's shoe line. The Kyrie Infinity does a really good job. All right, so looking at the materials and the support, these go with what most basketball shoes are using on the upper now with some textiles. So there is a lot of benefit to that textile setup. It is gonna keep a shoe lightweight. And then of course it's gonna be breathable like I kind of mentioned in the appearance design with that kind of see-through setup. But you know, some lines like LeBron 18s, I think they used more of a knit setup. And in my opinion, you know, textiles, they just feel a little bit more secure thanks to that plastic. I mean, the LeBron 18, it definitely struggled kind of keeping your foot inside of the shoe, but you are going to get some nicer materials just in the back half of the shoe. Like you get more of a leather feel that's kind of around the ankle and that does fall more in line with the Kyrie 6 than it does for the Kyrie 7s because those use like a lot of textiles pretty much all the way across the shoe. But then if you're looking at more of the center of the shoe, you get that X look in the tongue, or I guess it's underneath the laces or whatever, but you do have some like black straps that are just outside the laces that they actually lace up through. And that has a really functional purpose. So these black straps that are kind of going towards the back, those actually wrap around the heel of your foot to kind of whenever you lace those up, it kind of tightens your foot back and that's going to give you really good ankle stability. That's, that's kind of what the whole purpose of that is. The weird thing about these is the lace is kind of running forwards. Those wrap around the front of your shoe to kind of just like pull your foot just more inside of the shoe together. I'm not, I, I guess that's what they're trying to do. I don't know what you need the front half of that strap to be for, but you can actually see it like along this blue stripe, that's blue kind of curve that runs along the toe box. That kind of separates and shows you where uh, the strap begins and ends. It's kind of within that little course right there. So I do think it's kind of cool whenever shoes show you what's going on on the inside. So to finish off with traction, they did switch up the pattern from last year. Those ones had that computer generated setup, which you know I really wasn't that big of a fan for the Kyrie sevens. Just felt like I was flipping a coin on whether they would work for me or not on that day. And you know, surfaces do sometimes play a factor. I guess it plays a factor a little bit, but those computer generated designs, they just overall don't usually work for me very well. Like the Giannis Zoom Freak 3s, they had that same type of setup and it's just too inconsistent from like from, from whenever I play in those models. But this pattern doesn't have like a traditional herringbone setup, but it is pretty close just as far as the pattern concerns. It does have a really similar look to the Dame 8s that we did just review as far as the design looks down there. But 
Something about this is the outsole does extend just a little bit, this outer portion compared to the inside design. It pokes out from the shoe just a little bit more, but you know, these are also the first shoe that I've gotten that's equipped with that XDR outsole, which pretty much just means you're gonna get a more durable rubber down there. So I am kind of curious to see how these fold up over time the more I play in them. But you know, the traction, it does feel a little bit better than last year. It's still not gonna give you that super sticky feel. I'll say this, like Puma shoes are top tier for traction right now, in my opinion. Like they use this like sticky substance or like material that's like so nice. It's like called non-grip or non-slip or something like that. It's like, I just did a review in the Lamella Ball review. Uh, it's right back there over my shoulder. And you know, honestly, that's one of my favorite shoes right now. Like no joke. It's just a super, super sticky feel for that design. But you know, for these Kyrie aids, I mean, for the Kyrie Infinities, it's definitely not a bad feel to play in. But you know, as for sizing, I would say these are a true to size fit. Maybe a little bit on the snug side, but I mean, if you like more room to play in, you could probably get away with going a half size up for these. But, you know, to finish off with this review, it is a really solid shoe. I do think that the Kyrie 8 is a step up and at least a step in the right direction for his shoe line. We're talking about a really comfy shoe, definitely softer than last year's model. The traction is good. The supports pretty much stayed consistent with his line. It's never bad because he's so shifty on the court. So I mean, the Kyrie 8, it's a great shoe to buy. All right, so if you're interested in buying these shoes and you wanna support our channel, we do have an affiliate link in the description that kind of helps take a little bit off the price whenever we buy these shoes to review them. So, you know, feel free to check that out. But that does wrap up our performance review for the Kyrie 8 or the Kyrie Infinity in this aluminum colorway. Feel free to leave a comment below if you like this video or just let us know any other shoes that you may want us to check out. But until next review, I'm Landon from Shoewear. Peace.